Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets, where we are trying to get some financial security going on for our beautiful family. Uh, and that includes paying off a ton of consumer debt. Um, today's Monday, which means we will be doing a cash on staffing for the week, a weekly check-in, our budget for the coming week, for week four of May, and also updating our little roundup challenge from our account. So let's get stuck into it. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely weekend. We had a really nice weekend. We started our celebrations for our little girl uh, for her birthday, which is this week. Um, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, first I need to, okay, so we've had, <laughs> we've had some issues. Um, after I took my, all my consolidation stuff back to the bank at the end of last week, I reconciled like what I've got in my spreadsheets versus what's in my binders versus what's in my bank. And I am $160 short and I have no idea where that money's gone. Um, there is some extra money paid onto our credit card. I'm also not sure how that happened, but I've obviously miscalculated something somewhere. Um, so in order to fix that up, I'm, I'm hoping I will, <laughs> hoping when I do the end of month reconciliation, that that money will appear and that I haven't messed up, but in all likelihood I have messed up. So um, what we're gonna do as part of our own stuffing is take 100 out of gas, um, and that is to cover that. And we're gonna take 60 out of Christmas. I've already updated the thing here. I took off two of the 30s um, just because Gas had a really healthy amount in it, and Christmas is obviously the furthest away expense that we're saving for. Um, so unfortunately, they are going to be the ones to cover my error. Um, and yeah, if that money magically shows up at the end of the month, I will put it back where it came from. Um, but for now, that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. So yeah, I do keep a spreadsheet of what so that tells me what I should have where, um, like in cash and in my accounts and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously that hasn't worked too well for me on this particular occasion. Okay, so unstaffing wise, there's nothing else coming out of there. Um, yeah, we had a beautiful weekend. We went down, um, well, we stayed at home on Saturday, but then on Sunday we went down to my dad's um, to celebrate my little one. Um, which was really, it was a really, really nice day. The weather, the weather has come out in Melbourne at the moment. It's freezing, like in the mornings, it's really, really cold, but it's been nice and sunny. Okay, so medical, I'm unstuffing 85. So we'll take out that 50, 60, 70. That's not gonna work. I do have some change. So, cause I had a feeling this might happen. Oh, that's not really gonna work either, is it? Hold on. Let's come back. Let's unstuff the other ones and I'll do that one last and see if I wind up with enough fives. Okay, so dental, we're taking out 100. That was for my son's orthodontist appointment, which went better than expected. So that was good. Um, that unfortunately is not covered by any kind of um, Medicare or health insurance or anything, um, but that's okay. So that's that. And then we are taking out... Uh, for my little one's birthday party. So we're taking 15 out of her birthday, which is technically for next year, but it's okay, we'll put it back. We're taking 15 out of party. Um, and we will start that again for, at least I'm only saving for one birthday party for next year now, because she's had her party now. So, well, she's having it on the weekend. We are gonna take 100 out of my son's birthday and we will put that back from our golden paycheck, if not before, in July. And likewise for my daughter. So I'll take those trackers out so I can remember to update them. And that one. Uh, and this one. I was going to cash flow it, but I just, I really wanna get that money into my super and I'm, that's on a timeline, as you guys all know. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. 
Uh, I will keep in mind that, yeah, next year I do think I need a little bit more towards their birthdays than I allowed this year. Just for incidental things. Um, like, we probably get takeaway the night of her birthday and I haven't budgeted for that because uh, I just didn't even think about it. Okay, so let's try this again. We should be able to now take out 50, 60, 70, 80, and then we need a 5. So we'll put that 20 back, get a 10, and two fives. That can go there, that can go there. Okay, and then that works. Um, so yeah, we had, we had two doctor's visits this week, unfortunately. So 20, 35. Um, I did a heart health assessment with my GP and got the results for all of my yearly bloods and everything, which was all good. So that's awesome. And my little one was um, sick. She had like the whole week off school last week because she had a really icky bug. And then it went to her ear, which it almost always does. Um, so yeah, the poor little thing. She was not very well for a good few days. Okay, so we have unstaffed 100, 200, 300, 450. That's already in the bank for 70, 490, 510, 530, 540, 550, 560, 570, 575. It was a big one this week. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, hopefully there'll be money left over from her party and I can stuff that back into the older twos birthday fund so I am going to put that in here ready to go back to bank and then I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little more so then you can see a bit better and we will do some is that right yeah okay we'll do some budgety stuff so for our weekly check-in Look guys, she's back. She's got a refill, she's alive. These are actually really nice. Lots of people asked in my last video, these, this is a friction, um, pilot friction pen, so one of the erasable ones. It's just a fancier, like I think the normal ones look like that. This one's just a snazzier, retractable one. Um, I just got it at Officeworx. Um, and they've, they're good, because they've got, you can just buy the refill, so you don't have to replace the whole pen every time. You can just get a refill. Uh, so groceries, we started out in the negative. We added 764. We spent 514.27. Yuck. We have 181.73 left over. So that's going to be a little bit tight, but we do have some leftover meals. That's why we spent extra because we, um, it's just been a hectic week. Um, cause my little one was sick for the whole week. So, um, yeah, there was extra spending cause hubby did a few extra trips. But that's fine. Hopefully we'll be able to um, catch that up. We will see. Uh, take out, we budgeted 75. We spent, it was like 74 something, but my account rounded up to 75. So there's nothing left in there. Petrol, likewise, we budgeted 95. We spent $94.05 or something like that. So that went into roundup. So it's 95. Chemist, we added 20. We spent... 65 and 7 cents which means we're in the negative 57 cents um but that'll happen coming into cold and flu season i do think i'm going to start putting a little bit of extra money um into that category moving forward just because we're coming into winter we're going to start spending a bit more out of there so let's do our paycheck for the week um Okay, so what are we working with? Give me one second. Okay, sorry, I just had to go and um, blow my nose so I'm not sniffing in the ear. Okay, so the uh, income that we are working with for this week is 854. Out of that is coming internet. For 85, this will be the last month. That's $85. They've just sent me an email to let me know that they're putting that up. So nice of them. Um, I think it'll I think it's going up to 89 or $88.90. It's something weird. Um, but yeah, I'll have a look around and make sure that's still the best deal for us. I mean it's still a lot cheaper than like Telstra and other providers, but we'll we'll double check. Our health insurance is getting 264. 
Apple Care for my youngest iPad is getting six dollars. This um, budget planner, by the way, is from She Budgets. It's in my description below, but lots of people ask, so just so that you are aware. I'm not sure. I think she still has a few left um, from this run, but I don't think there's many. Uh, Xbox is getting nineteen dollars. Apple iCloud is getting five dollars so this apple care is insurance for her ipad in case she breaks it. apple icloud is like their storage thingy whatever <laughs> um so the total for that should be 379 and that should leave us with 475 then variable expenses Tolls is getting 30. Um, that's for our freeway that we often use. We have to pay tolls for it, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Chemist is getting 20. Spending is getting 20. Although that's probably what we'll use in part if we want to get takeaway for um, her birthday dinner. So that leaves us with 405. And then, sorry, I meant to say as well at the start, please excuse my nails today. They are feral. Um, I just, I don't have time to do them this morning to fix them up and they're just a bit of an abomination, but we, <laughs> we live. I'm so tempted to go and get them done, but I just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> um, cash envelopes this week is getting 405. And that's it. That's our whole zero base budget. Nothing for debt. That's we've taken care of those in the previous weeks. So this is it for our last week of May. Um, yeah, doesn't go far, does it? Um, but you'll see where all of those are going on Wednesday. Um, and then we will do our roundup. Now, where do they end up putting that now? Uh oh, was it in here? I think so. Um, so this week in our roundup challenge, we managed to put 506. So, um, I think I'll do what I did last week and stop talking and just speed this up. Okay, that is that one done. We are making a good, really good progress with that. Yay. Um, so the only other thing I wanted to talk about today is um, we're getting really, really close to 250 subscribers. And honestly, thank you so much. Um, it's really, yeah, it's really awesome. I, I love chatting to all of you on here. I love reading all of your comments. Um, yeah, and it's it's really it is really motivating to um it's really helping to keep me on track. So um yeah, that's awesome. And as promised, I will do a giveaway at 250 subscribers. What I would love is if you can let me know in the comments, um, and I think I'll put a poll up on my community page if I can work out how to do that. Um so look out for that. But if you can let me know in the comments as well, I think I thought for this giveaway I'll do a little goodie pack. Um what would you like it to be? Would you like it to be for uh, envelopes? Would you like it to be for placeholders? Would you like it to be for savings games or for trackers? Um, if you could let me know, that would be awesome. And then once we hit the 250, I'll announce the giveaway, obviously. Um, yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys had a beautiful weekend. I hope you are set for an awesome week. I will see you on Wednesday for our regular cash stuffing. I have changed a couple of things, um, mostly in my savings binder, um, but you will see that on Wednesday. I mean, it's no, nothing, nothing terribly exciting. Um, but yeah, I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you like what you see and you want to be part of the 250 giveaway, subscribe so that we can get over that line, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye.